Hey gang, it's Mike from Power BI Tips. If you were following the release from the Power BI blog, you'll know that at the end of the blog there was this new file format called Power BI DS or PBI DS. Here it is from the blog. It's a new file format, PBI DS, and this is a simulates a file that you can load into your Power BI desktop program that simulates a Git data experience. Here's a sample of some of the code that they can let you write to help you build a SQL connection. You would enter your SQL server and database name. This code is written in JSON, and I'd like to present to you today a tool that I've produced that will help you build these JSON files automatically. Check out this new tool. It's called connections.powerbi.tips. So here's the tool. Uh, if you go to the URL up here, connections.powerbi.tips, you'll be able to see the tool for yourself, build your own connection files, and download them. So here's how the file works. If you go, if you go here to this location, you can then select a different options in the drop-down menus here that are on the page. So for example here, if I pick version 0.1, this is required for all files, and right now it's only supporting a 0.1 file versioning. Under the connection details, there's actually a number of different specs you can use or different file formats. I've already preloaded a number of these, and so the one I'm choosing right now is the folder one for this example. And then what you can do is you can add in a file path. So this is something like my computer or some location here. So to show you how this works, I'm going to go to a folder on my desktop. I'm going to grab the address and then I'm going to go back over to the tool I'm going to paste as plain text right here so this is my folder where I have some data Now the neat part about this tool is you can validate it so if I click valid it will actually double check the code for you and make sure that it's working for you or you haven't missed any fields that you need in order for the spec to work for example if I deleted this out and then hit validate. It'll ask you to say, hey, look, you've missed a file, a, a file path. You need to add that back in. So once you've added in the path, then you can click the download file button. This will then prompt you to add a file name. Let's just call this a loading a folder. We'll hit download. And so now this PBIDS file has now loaded to my local machine. If I minimize the browser, you'll see that there is in fact a new file. It actually kind of has a bit of a different icon format here as well too. You'll, it's kind of like a little database here with a little Power BI icon on top of it. If you double click on this file, what it will do is it'll automatically launch Power BI Desktop and it'll also try to pre-connect you to that data source. Now I know in some testing, the file format is only supporting one data source at a time for now. In the future, it may support multiple connections, but for right now in version 0.1, it's only supporting one connection type. Also, uh, you'll note here is it brings up the prompt dialog box for locating that file connection. Now, if this was a SQL server or something else that required authentication, the authentication box would pop up and would say, hey, I need you to log into this SQL server at this location with your credentials. All the normal Power BI connection flows would still work. I can also here transform the data right from this menu, which will bring up my Power Query editor and then we can modify our file. So I can click on the binary and we can see what's in my file, click close and load, and we'll load the information directly to uh, my desktop program. And there we are, that's it. We've been able to programmatically build a file and push it in here. Now there's a couple other features of the tool that I wanna point out here. Let's go back to the tool. Um, this is the simple version where you basically pick menu options and it pretty much builds out the information that you need. Um, here's TDS, here's another, a couple more options here. You can enter the server. Anything with an asterisk is required. Anything without an asterisk is an optional thing. So for example, Power BI will only require you to have the server name and you don't need the database name if you don't want to. You can also define the data load type. This is where you would pick either import or direct query. So that's another area here for this particular visual or this particular loading type that you can actually pick out different connection types. So I go over here to this X section here, and this is where you can full on edit the code. This is a common JSON editor that you'll find on the internet. What you can do here is it automatically starts the file with the version as it's placed in the file. So you can go in here and append, and you can grab any kind of other additional data sources. So if I click analysis services, it now populates all the different details that you need. And then you can enter in, you know, my server name, 
our location. And then you can click download directly from here. Oh, we need to change the version here to 0.1. And then now you can see that it's happy and there's no errors. And then I can hit download on the file. This is my new connection. Download this. And you can see that it'll automatically download another PVIDS file for you. And then you can open it here. Now you can open up these files and see what's in them. If you right click on the file, you can say open with Visual Studio Code and there your format will be. So if you want to change the format of this file to reformat it, you have to in Visual Studio Code change it from plain text to JSON. So I'll go down here, changing the file type to JSON and then using Control Alt F will format the data so you can see exactly what it's doing. So it's automatically bringing in the information for you and adding the correct pipings uh, so that it can read it inside JSON. So that should be it. Thanks for looking at our tool. I hope you enjoy it. And remember, if you want to go check out it, check out the tool again, it's at connections.powerbi.tips. Thanks for watching and follow us on YouTube. Like and subscribe for more great tutorials and tips and tricks.